Before I'm uploading a new episode of Cartoon Character, I just want to show you a couple of techniques that you can create skin pores. So let's go and take this demo head female model, double click, and then let's go close the floor, go to geometry and add a few divides. So we have some more information. Okay, great. So let's see how many polys we have. Three millions. Let's go further because we really need information for this one. First option, usually that I'm using for creating skin pores faster, is to go to a surface and then let's press noise like this. Uh, let's drag it to see it better and let's play depending on the size of the model you need to be careful that the size of the surface scale will matter so let's go to strength a little bit more like this uh, let's say that this will be our skin pole let's press ok next I'm just going to go to morph where is morph morph should be here somewhere morph target okay and then just press to morph like this now let's go back to surface and let's apply to mesh to see how this will be applied okay pretty decent now let's go to light box go to brush and let's search for smooth 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 I have problem to find brush him all the time no idea why okay top and then let's choose smooth peaks this one press ok and now if we press shift we can control the intensity and just smooth out as you can see because we have this smooth peaks brush we can create beautiful skin pores so this is pretty interesting Why did I store the morph? Because by pressing BM, selecting morph, we can choose to select where we do not want this skin. Like clips, something like this like let's go to solo like inside eyes or maybe here etc now let's go and shift again again depending on the software you use uh, you should increase the surface so we have more details well this is just a demo to show you how you can create fast skin pores or maybe you can go to uh, geometry hd so you can control it better but that will take a lot of time you can increase the smooth This was too strong. Ctrl Z. Ah, 
I think you got the idea, so just play around and create beautiful skin. Maybe the intensity could be strong on the surface noise, but for now, let's say that this is great. Okay, next step, we can go to standard, B, press standard, and let's select alpha this alpha 58 and then let's go to spray and just play with the intensity by pressing alt or no again in specific areas you can create this kind of pores also to the neck we have a lot of of course with more patience this is just a demo Okay, so you got the idea. The next option that I'm using, actually it's already a brush. You can go to this page. I'm going to put a link in the description. So this guy, Memania44, offers this poor brush. That is pretty cool and super easy to use. You just download the uh, zip file and you're going to put it in ZBrush uh, brushes so let's go to lightbox I'm going to go back to brush and I made the folder called pores so let's select this one and then let's say actually let's press shift and shift out this And by controlling the intensity, you just, oops, too strong, you just create pores. Obvious, obviously, you can keep the shift peaks and just move out if you don't like it, and then Recreate it. Pretty useful um, brush I'm using all the time where I want to increase density of pores like this. Because uh, we have different types of uh, pores in different areas you you need to have a lot of patient creating uh, the pores so these are the two techniques that I'm usually using uh, of course that I'm combining a lot I'm using alphas that you can also find on Google or alpha you can find on Pixologic but I'm combining this two techniques and with order to trying to create the perfect skin so uh, i'm going to use this one on my cartoon character boys so i will just give a bit of touch of reality okay guys hope you find this video helpful see you next time take care